Hi everyone, welcome to Antiman channel. I'm Yom Eret Stein, had you with me today about Arch Linux. And I post my thoughts about this, why I need to do this one. And the thing is not so easy, that the way you do this on MacBook Pro M2 chip is not straightforward. So that's why I posted my time to research, read article, watch some YouTube video about how you can do this one. So it can help you save your time if you want to try, learn Linux on your Master Pro. This repository you can find on my eHub. And you have two things you need to have. First one is called VMware Fusion Pro. This is free from my 2024. You can use this one on your computer at this Pro version, but it's free for personal use. The thing you need to do, you need to just create an account and then download this software on your computer. And secondly, that uh, play you can get the uh, ISO file. It's called askpost.net. It's free. And the difference here is it gives you a file for Arch CT4. That's the one you can run this on MasterOS M2 chip or M1 chip, depending on your laptop. But the, I testing on my M2 and it worked nicely for me. And from the link here, you can just, okay, they had a few things you need to take into account. They have some version. The version I often use, I use this logo here, which means it's just bigger size, but it help you install everything on offline mode that save your time. I'm gonna show you the right way, but, but get in your mind about this one. They have three versions, and I often use the local one. After install on your computer, you can go to VMware Fusion and press new. And this is the time you can choose the ISO file you already downloaded. This. So for me, I already had here. So press continue. And choose the Linux kernel for you. Like for me, it's, this is CT4 bit ARM and version 6. So press continue. And the default is quite small. So I need to change like the hard disk right now. It's only 8 gigabyte and memory just small i don't think that's good for, for the demo so i'm gonna change this one it main enter so with this ui there are a few things you need to do after create the image and the, the virtual machine here so you choose the processor i'm gonna choose six cores and i have 32 gigabyte for memory so i just made u8 that enough for me and then I can use the display to better UI. So I just use maximum. And another one I often do that the the hard disk here it goes small. So I just change to 32, apply. And you had an option here. If you don't want, you can remove it at any time. For example, if you don't use southcast, you can go here, remove the southcast. Or uh, you don't want camera, just remove. And uh, the sharing is the more important one if you want to set something between your OS system and your virtual instant machine. When it's running, you can choose, for example, I, I want to set everything under my download folder. So I just choose this one, for example. And you see the note here. You need to install VMware tool to, to access to the file from the client to the virtual box to your put the machine to your OS system file. So this is the thing you need to install. I will show you later on, it's okay. So after that, I also, maybe you want to change something here that is the keyboard here. They have some profile. The one I'm gonna use is your dev here. I just follow another guideline. I just, I don't think any, anything. I just disable almost. And I keep the high menu bar. So that is the one I had here. So I'm gonna close this one and press start. So the UI with it show the ISO file for you. Just press enter and it's test time for booting up this one. For same time for us, if you want to try on your end, I also show here step by step how you can do this one. Uh, for me, I had three steps. The first one is install the Arch Linux. If you want something minimal, you just do the set, step one. 
and I would prefer to do this in the offline mode. And I had this record already just flow along to see what I did, and it just simple like that. Ten minutes you had ready the arch liners. The second one, you can have the install script here. If after the setup, you want to have some GUI UI to working on. So that this like for example, this ready, but I need to install some GUI. UI. So after that, you had at the end you have something like the UI to accept the account and you have GNOME. So you can choose different system, but now for me this UI is simple, so I use the GNOME here. And this the third step here that's the the one I mentioned about the self folder. So this one I had a prepared strip, you just run strip on my repo, then it's ready. And when you finish, you just verify by AOS. That's MAT, this mode. And this folder, when you set it, we under this folder. And then some extra strip for you, you want to do like i3 and anything like fancy to your UI. And notice this one step by step here, I post on every strip I had here. If you want to customize or you want to do something, you can follow along here. All right, so this is UI after it's post everything, it's show the Asmode interface. So you press enter and you're gonna choose language here and it's just Y for you. As I mentioned, I would prefer the op offline mode, so I just wanna to now and what a time zone and then where you, you can do anything here or later on you can cut a mine so I just enter the data then it's set up it will it run they have few steps here they had four step and the first step it will prepare storage device so you had we set up that way often to try this one. If you had the real computer, I would do this more carefully. But now I just press enter, enter. They had two more here, single, multiple boot. I just enter, enter, enter. So I, and then you at the end, you see the final confirmation. Are you sure? And you just say yes. So it's that time to run this. And after this moment, it will create a new hardy for you, a formatting to the new format. And it, now you see this one is running. All right, 40%. Next step, we need into some package here. For me, I'm gonna see this UI, so it's just say, show the progress on the UI. So I just press enter and waste a few minutes. After the second step, you're gonna call it config system. At this time, you're gonna create a new account. So I use very secure password for my root account. And then I'm gonna choose the editor. I'm gonna use NeoVim. So you see, so NeoVim is everything offline, so it's super fast. And you use system D. And next step, you're gonna see this one. They had a UI for you to customize almost everything. The first, this is create user management. I'm gonna create a new account and now set up the sale. And you bash. So bash three be ready. Next one, I'm gonna create an account for me. So you just enter my name here. So this should be a uh, belong to admin. Yes, another very secure password for me. And then back to system. There are a few things you can customize, but at this moment, I want to change, change the host name. So let's say IT main and that's all. And then I go back to the menu. And the next one is in towards the boot slaughter. You have two options. I'm going to use the probe here. It's just preferred if you don't know, just show anything, it's, it's fine here. 
and then just waiting for this one and now it say write the file and with so they had boost blunder on your virtual machine and as this so at this moment if you reboot and thus you already has as plain as ready within I think less than maybe 10 minutes you already has the setup for you because you do this everything on offline mode so that's a beautiful of this process so now I'm gonna sign in on my account and then I'm gonna source and now this is go to the root account I'm gonna pass man that's why I gotta install now fresh so this is what people often do whenever they finish the stuff with Ash Linux. They're gonna see, oh, I using Ash by the way. So I just run this command, and you're gonna see what we have right now here. Yep. So we already had ready to go. But if you stay with me, let me show you step. I will install further Ash Linux. Thank you everyone, stay tuned for the next video, if you like this kind of content, let me know. See you next time.